It's the standard of care for patients with uh, Philadelphia chromosome negative B-cell ALL would be uh, intensive chemotherapy. Uh, we actually, we're doing this study for several years. Uh, recently, another study, the ECOG study, uh, reported the uh, in benefit of adding blinitumab across the board in the frontline setting. So we've been looking at that for a while with hyper-CVAD plus blinitumab. So what we do is we give four cycles of hyper-CVAD followed by four cycles of blinitumab and then a maintenance uh, phase of POMP, which is standard maintenance, for three months alternating with one cycle of blinitumab. Uh, we've reported data on this initial uh, study uh, that showed very encouraging outcomes within a three-year survival of over 80%. And more recently now, we've amended the study to now add inotuzumab. And so we're reporting here the outcomes of the now hyper-CVAD plus blinitumab plus inotuzumab uh, regimen. The goal is to introduce all of our most effective drugs as early as possible in the treatment course. And also we give all of these agents regardless of MRD status. So we've seen actually with the introduction of inotuzumab, we've seen even better outcomes. Uh, the the follow-up is still relatively short, but we've actually had no deaths in the hyper-CVAD, blinitumab, and inotuzumab arms. So the you know, one uh, 18 month survival is around is 100%. So we're very encouraged by that. Obviously we, we need longer term follow-up to see if that's maintained. But what we've seen in, in the course of you know, various studies in this disease is that you know, adding blinitumab to chemotherapy seems to be beneficial. This has been shown not only in our studies, but in others. And now we're showing that the next step is probably to add inotuzumab. So we're very excited about the early data with the combination, and we, you know, we're continuing to accrue patients, and you know, hopefully we'll present even longer-term data soon.